Kai. Are you asleep? Kai. So long, Kai. So long, my friend. The Sensitive Black Island by Alistair Jessamine Oh, God. God. How weary, stale, flat and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. Fie on... Ah, fie! Tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed. Things rank and gross in nature possess it merely. That it should come to this. But two months, Ted. Nay, not so much. Not two. So excellent a king that was to be. Richie! Ah, here he is. Thanks for coming, everyone. Mwah. Sweet Prince, you were great! Thanks, Richie. Uh, hi, Cat. Hello, Guy. Brilliant performance. <laughs> this is Tommy. Aha, uh -huh, the mind reader. We meet at last. Hello, Guy. Uh, so what did you think, Tommy? Excellent. But... No, no, no buts. But... No, really, excellent. But... Ha! <laughs> It was the darkest Hamlet I've ever seen. Pure poison at times, wasn't it? Well, you know what they say about Hamlet? The actor's personality always shines through. Mm, it's true, absolutely true. Anyway, very nice to meet you. And you. Look, Richie, I just need over to say hi. The cast are planning to go out on the town. Oh, right. It's Ophelia's birthday. I shouldn't be too late home. So, I need to love you and leave you. But uh, maybe Cat and Tommy would like to come for dinner tomorrow night. Oh, morning. Morning. There's coffee in the pot. The newspaper's arrived. Has it got a review? Mm. Page five. Well, that's what you said, really. Guy Templeton's Hamlet was dark, cynical, powerful and sinister. But was it Shakespeare? Mm. Four stars, though, eh? What time did you get up? Oh, I've been sitting here most of the night. What's wrong, Tommy, you? Oh, it's weird. It's kind of vision or something. A vision? Mmm, a face. Just keep seeing this face. It started last night, just after the play. Well, what kind of face? Ah, uh, young man. I mean, really vivid cat. Dark hair, swarthy skin, moles on his cheek. Lying on stones, eyes shut. Is he dead? No, he's asleep. It's as if I need to do something. Help him, save him, oh, I don't know. You okay to go over to Guy and Rich's tonight? Hmm, I think so. Maybe I should go and see Joe Crawford. See if he'd let me go through the missing persons database. Well, it have to be Monday now. Oh, oh, so well, that's me cleaned out. Well done, Richie. The night is yours. <clears throat> I'm really out of practice. Richie to thank for that. How come? I was given an ultimatum. It was either Richie or the drinking, gambling and promiscuous shenanigans. <laughs> is that not right, dear? Well, that's right. Saved his life. He'd have been dead by now if he'd kept up with Daniel and that lot. Daniel? Daniel Taylor, the artist. Oh. Now he's bad. Host wild parties, serial <laughs> philanderer, alcoholic and gambler. Uh-huh. He sounds fun. <laughs> and Guy Templeton here was his right-hand man. Mm -hmm. Partner in crime. All those little doors of pleasure closed to me now, though. So, what's next, Guy? Where do you go after Hamlet? Macbeth. Ooh. 
Mm. Yes, the dreaded Scottish play. Oh, you don't hang around, do you? Mm. Off to the Outer Hebrides next week for atmosphere to soak up the elements. Well, <clears throat> to prepare. Nice. Wind, rain, hail. <laughs> Guy, how do you protect yourself doing a part like that? <laughs> how do you mean? Well, playing such a malevolent character, you can't just immerse yourself. Why not? I'm reading a biography of Joseph Stalin at the moment. Oh, a bundle of laughs that is. <laughs> he reads me the funny bits in bed. Oh, better keep on the right side of him, Rich. <laughs> no, I'm a method actor, me. <clears throat> through and through. Ah, but you need to distance yourself somehow, obviously. Especially with a part like Macbeth. No, 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 no. Total immersion. <sighs> OK. <laughs> More poker. <laughs> Can't afford it. Top ups then. Mm. Oh yes, oh, please. please. Okay, so Tommy, I take this card and I press it against my forehead thus, and I imagine it very clearly. And you tell me what it is. Uh, Don't, guy. No, come on. Is this not what you do? Uh, it's not like. Oh, that. just for fun, guy. You're always saying how good he is. Come on. He doesn't like doing party tricks, guy. I'd really. Rather. Imagining it now, flashing it into your mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Seven of spades. Well, was he right? Uh, no. Right suit. Well, let's see then. It's back in the pack. It was the queen. Queen of spades. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I am interested. How does it all work for you, then? I mean, for example, pardon me, but you're not very good at poker. <coughs> I mean, in that last game there, how come you didn't know Richie wasn't bluffing? It's all more random than that. It comes or it doesn't. <sighs> OK. The last couple of days, I keep seeing a face in my mind. Really vivid. What kind of face? A young man. Smooth skin. Moles on his cheek. Asleep. But where, where this face came from, I've absolutely no idea. Except I, I think he wants my help. And uh, well, how do you go about helping this bloke? D I don't know. Well, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, that's just one example. Mm -hmm. Nothing planned or controlled, just a strange, random image. So, you must be looking forward to getting away, Guy. Hmm? Sorry? Oh, yes. The uh, guy's been going up there since he was a little kid. Beautiful little island. You love it there, don't you? Sorry? Sorry, I'm <sighs> miles away. Too much wine. You really love it up there. Black Island. Oh, yeah. Look, why don't uh, you two both join us? Oh, we can uh, do that. Well, a trip to the islands. Why not? Just for a couple of days, even. Richie? Yes. Join us. Why don't you? <laughs> How are you getting on, Thomas? Oh, not very well, Joe. I've got five here, but none of them really match the face in my head. I'm already back to mid-90s. Do you want to keep going? Uh, not today. Maybe next week. I I'm, I'm going on holiday tomorrow for a few days. Uh -huh. uh, where are you off to? Out on Hebrides, Black Island. Lovely. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry to waste your time like this. Well, I owe you a few favours. I can get the details on those five if they're not classified, and I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Aye, aye, no rush. I don't think he's here, to be honest. I can wait till I get back. Oh, oh. What? Whoever drank from this glass before me was in a particularly nasty frame of mind. Well, go and ask for another glass. Tell them their clientele's off. <laughs> I keep getting that face, Kat. Let's go on deck, Tommy. It's lovely out there now. Blow your cobwebs away, eh? Looking forward to it. Yeah. You? Yeah. There should be a colour on the paint tray. Hebridean blue. A deep, inky, Hebridean blue. Mmm. Lovely. 
Can you see the island from here? Um, not quite. You are there, Black Islands over that way. Oh. Cat, do you think Guy's having an affair? What? Well, it's just a hunch. I've got an uncomfortable feeling on Saturday there, and it's sort of crystallised today. It crystallised? Yeah. What makes you think he's having an affair? Just an intuition. Nothing else, just... An intuition, yeah. We're half an hour away and you come out with this. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you shouldn't. Your face, the face that you see. You think that may be Guy's lover or something? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Tommy. Honest to God. I'm going back downstairs. Oh, uh, sorry. Guy, are you asleep? Guy. But the play is about evil. I mean, Shakespeare's presenting us with a meaningless universe. Wrong. He's presenting us with an ethical universe, Guy. How's that? But can I just intercede here briefly and ask if anybody wants any more trifle? Oh, oh God. No. I burst Richie. <laughs> <laughs> no, what makes Macbeth, the character, so interesting is that in some ways he's a good man who constantly has to deny his own goodness to do the things he does. But he does deny his own goodness constantly, as you say. Is there any real choice there with those two? So, why does Lady Macbeth go mad? And wh why does Macbeth's conscience torture him? I mean, if he did the character like you say, he'd be entirely one-dimensional, a, a pantomime well, villain. I'm just saying that they embody evil. I'm not saying there's no conflict in them, but they always choose evil. Um, may I uh, just butt in here and ask if anybody's ready for coffee? Oh. Coffee would be lovely, Richie. Uh, thanks, Rich. Uh, guy? Mm? Coffee. Oh, um, yes. <clears throat> you know, I think you should do more comedies myself. Mm. <laughs> you were very good in that sitcom. Maybe I should play Macbeth for laughs. Funny pants, big nose. <laughs> I think you've uh, finally found the key to the park. Guy Templeton's interpretation of Macbeth was the funniest I've ever seen. <laughs> but was it Shakespeare? <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful cottage, Richie. Oh, isn't it? A guy would buy the place given half a chance. A uh, couple of eggs was in the top drawer there. Uh. Is Cat okay? She seems a bit subdued. Uh, long journey, that's all. Aye, uh, well, don't take too much notice of Guy's moods, by the way. They change like the weather. He tends to sulk if he loses an argument. Ah, uh, I wasn't bothered. <laughs> He's got to win everything. Yeah. You know, I remember once we were at his parents playing Monopoly. Uh, plates in that cupboard there, Tommy. Oh. Uh, it was all going fine, good fun, and and then his dad accused his guy of cheating. I saw a face out the window. Was it the same face? The one you see in your mind? Uh, oh, not sure. Younger, I think. We had a look outside. Nobody there. Oh. We're going to have to eat everything off pudding bowls now. Yeah. Embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry I said that on the boat. About Guy. Just forget it. If you can. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to go for a swim tomorrow morning with Richie. First thing. Mm, nice. You think you could suppress the visions for the rest of the weekend? It would save an awful lot of money on crockery. <laughs> I'll do my best. Guy, <laughs> are you asleep? David! David! Help me! <laughs> Guy? Sorry to startle you. How long have you been sitting there? A minute or two. I, I just came in to give you a cup of tea. Right. Uh, uh, thanks. Thanks. 
Where's Cap? She and Richie went for a swim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Were you having a nightmare, Tommy? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What was it about? Uh, I, I can't... Uh, I don't, don't know. Uh, well, uh, thanks for the tea. That's all right. Last Saturday, I asked if you knew what card I'd picked. Yeah. The Seven of Spades. You were right. I said you'd got it wrong. But I was a bit taken aback. I mean, you said you couldn't read minds. Uh, well, yes and no. Like I said, it's usually all more random than that. The card just popped into my head. I was impressed. Oof, guy, sorry, I'm still kind of half asleep. Yes, um, sorry, okay. No more faces appearing in the windows? Hmm. Uh, no. What was that about, I wonder? I should have a shower. Sure, I'll let you get up. When you're ready, we could go down to the cove, see Cat and Richie. Mm. Oh, hot tea. The very dab. Oh, that's kind of you, Guy. Or you'd both be perishing after that. Mm. You said you could get a signal down here. That's right. Is it all right? Thermos tea can taste a bit plastic. Mm. It's fine. Ah, fine, aye. Didn't fancy a dip then, Tommy. Ah, uh, can't swim. He panics in the bath. So, shall we go for some breakfast? We shall. Give us your cups. Mm. Uh, I've got a text. Just need to make a, a quick call, yeah? There's a wee cave back there. Can we have a look? Another time, eh? The tide's coming in. Oh, well, OK. Well, don't be long, Tommy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the tide comes in really quickly. Can cut you off. Ah, uh, OK. Well, seriously, it's quite dangerous. Uh, Richie, did anything ever happen here? What do you mean? I just have a, a sense of... Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll see you up there. <clears throat> don't be long. Yeah, D.I. Crawford? Hi, Joe, it's Thomas. You texted me. Thomas, how's the Outer Hebrides? Uh, surprisingly warm. Good. Uh, I've got someone for you. Um, hang on. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought you might find this interesting. You said you were staying on Black Island. That's right. OK. You see, one of the photographs you picked out was of a, a young man last seen on Black Island, mm. June 1998. He was visiting a friend. He left the island to go home to Inverness, and he's never been seen since. His name was Templeton. Guy Templeton. The one who disappeared was called Guy Templeton. That's right. Thomas? You still there? Mm. Picnic this afternoon? Mm, sounds good to me. Yeah. On the cliff. Depart HQ 1.15pm. Tommy? Hmm? Picnic? On the cliff? Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Nice porridge, guy. Mm. Tukta conditioning. Are you a Tukta? Inverness born and bred. I ironed out the accent of Ra. Oh, he's mm. brilliant at accents. And impressions. Go on, guy. Don't embarrass me, Richie. I'm concentrating on my porridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's either Alan Bennett or it's Mavis from Coronation Street. <laughs> well, it's Alan Bennett. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, Tommy, I wonder if you and me are quite similar. Uh, how's that? You know, taking on somebody else's character, mindset kind of thing. Other voices speaking through us. Yeah, maybe. So you have an object on watch, a ring or something, and you can find the missing person through what? You have images of them, a sense of where they are? Yes. Psychometry, it's called. I forgot to pack the boiled eggs. Oh. I mean, I get images of them, yes. Voices, sometimes. Transmitted through the actual object. Could you pass another tuna sandwich, Rich? Mm. So, this thing you do with pendulum... Yeah, I think Kat and Richie would prefer just to enjoy the sunshine. No, it's fascinating. 
Never heard any of this stuff before. Well, it is fascinating. Because it makes no rational sense. And yet, clearly there's something in it. Well, there are more things on heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Have a plum, guy. Hey, Mom. There's somebody there. What? What? In the long grass, there. Hey, hello. You. That's a kid. A boy. He was trying to take a photo, I think. <laughs> a guy, probably. Price of fame. What were you playing at? I'm on holiday. You were taking a photo of me. Oh, let go. You're hurting him, Guy. You're Guy Templeton. I know who I am. Why didn't you ask permission? Get off. Guy, just leave him. Just a minute, eh? Why didn't you ask permission? Let go, would you? Go on. Shut up. In the face of the window. Mystery solved. That was him? Yeah. I'm oh, pretty sure. You hurt him, Guy. I'm not public property. He just wanted a photo. I'm entitled to a bit of privacy. When did you ever worry about being famous? He was just a kid. You think this is what this is all about? Being famous, honestly. Oh, come on, Guy. Guy, come back. Sit down. Oh, God almighty. You see, when he prepares for a part, <laughs> Hamlet was bad enough. Looks as if Macbeth's going to be a total nightmare. <laughs> Excuse me. We'll be back in a minute. Hopefully. Plum? No, thanks. Why is he so nervous around me? I don't know. I was on about what I do, how I do it. Is Guy Templeton his real name? I don't know, Tommy. Why? Well, it's just... Oh, I'll tell you later. Why is everybody acting so weird today? Oh... Uh... Oh, bum! I've been lying on ants or something. Oh, I hate nature. Oh, he'll be all right. He's looking a bit sheepish now, actually. <laughs> Hand me that trowel, Tommy. Oh. There you go. Thanks. Is this a plant or a weed? Uh, you can take that out. Now, we get this place at a really good rate, and in return, uh, we do the garden. We decorating jobs, that sort of thing, you know? <sighs> Is uh, Guy Templeton his real name? Does he change it by any chance? Uh, it's a stage name. Uh, get him to tell you the story. What was his old name? David. David White. Oh. oh, look at the time. His nibs wants us all to play croquet at 3.15 precisely. Let's get cleaned up, Tommy. David! Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot, even if I say it myself. Game to Team B, K. Logan and G. Templeton. Team A will have to pull their fingers out, Cat. Yep. Half time, eh? Well, uh, why don't I rustle up some tea? Mm. Mm. Thanks, Richie. Croquet on the lawn and afternoon tea. How civilised mm. is that? <laughs> uh, Tommy was interested in your name, Guy. Tell him the story. <laughs> Why did you want to know about my name? Just interested? It's a name I took. I had this friend. We grew up in Inverness together. He was about four years older than me, and I rather hero-worshipped him. He was a musician, inspired me to become an actor. His name was Guy Templeton. Hmm. We, we used to come here together on holidays. But one summer we were here, and he left early and never arrived home. Never seen again. What do you think happened to him? Well, he was depressed and really rather moody. Well, we think he killed himself. Four or five years later, I took his name as a stage name. Never liked my own much, anyway. So, he kind of shares in my success. Sentimental. But oh, Guy, that's really sad. I think I might go in. Uh, learn my words. Nothing like a real fire. Mm. Uh, give it a stir, Tommy, would you? Mm. 
It's turned really nasty. Ta -da! Oh. Champagne! Lovely. Hey, shall we open it? We're all still keep for another five minutes. Let's. You know, uh, Charles Dickens had this big celebratory dinner for the beginning and the end of a novel. Ah, so oh. this is for the death of Hamlet and the birth of the Scottish play. Oh, you big drama queen, you. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> to Macbeth. 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 Mm. Sorry I've been so moody today. Always a bit difficult giving birth. But I think my waters have broken. Oh, please. <laughs> this Macbeth shall be as no other. He shall have the audience wetting the upholstery in terror. Despite your objections, Mr. Souter, evil personified. To evil personified. <laughs> to evil. Mm. Mm. Well, Guy, at one point, Lady Macbeth says to Macbeth, you're too full of the milk of human kindness. How are you going to get around that one? I hope you'll both be there on the first night. Definitely. Mm. Sure. Oh, where did we last have champagne? Mm. I can't remember. The last time for me was Daniel's 40th. <laughs> he was absolutely drunk, really out of it. I'm starving. I'm really looking forward to this roast, Richie. Daniel's 40th? Yeah. Well, that must have been after our ceremony. No, well before. It was after the ceremony. Well, maybe it was his 39th. I, I was at his 39th. I, I can't remember when it was, Richie. Whenever. You swore to me that you'd never contact him again. I, I dropped in for five minutes. You vowed to me. OK, I'm sorry. It was stupid. Honestly, darling, I was in there one drink and out. You've been seeing him. What? You've never stopped seeing him, have you? You still love her. That's not true. It's not true, it Richie. It is true. <laughs> All those extra rehearsals suddenly make sense. A lot of things suddenly make... Oh, God! Richie, you've got it wrong. Oh, don't touch me! Is it true? Of course it's not true. Could you go and talk to him? And say what? I don't know. In case he does something silly, just... Yeah. OK. We'll go over to the B&B &B down the track. In this weather? Ark, it'll take 15 minutes at the most, Tommy. It's a straight road. Richie just doesn't want to be here tonight. No. How will you get in touch if there's no signal here? There's sometimes a signal. Okay. Just come over tomorrow and see what's what. Well, and I stay with Macbeth down there. Yeah, sorry. So, how does it feel to be right? Not great. You know the face I keep seeing? Was it his lover? No, it was his friend, the one that died. Well, how do you know? Joe Crawford told me. One of the pictures I picked out on the database? Uh -huh. The real Guy Templeton. OK. Well, this is becoming a seriously weird weekend. Want another drink? Well, same again. Well, he'll be better off without me. It's not necessarily over, is it? No. It is. Why do I do it? Destroy everything that's good in my life. Did you know? Know what? That I was cheating on him. How would I know? But did you? I had a hunch. How does that work? Just intuition. You know, it's a bit intrusive, if you don't mind me saying so. Rattling around in other people's heads. I don't seem to have much choice sometimes, Guy. That right. I'm afraid so. I'm pretty loathsome when it comes down to it all. Daniel, I mean, of all people. Richie hated him. Two of a kind, me and Daniel. 
Cold hearts, rotten minds. Oh, that doesn't help, Guy, all that. Anyway, I'd lost him for good. Who knows? When I look inside, I'm hollow. See that? When I move my hand like that, when I make a point, that was him, not me. Richie? Guy. Oh. I took on a load of his mannerisms. I became him, because I was nothing. Richie won't come and see it now, will he? My Macbeth. I really wanted him to see it. I'm going to pour us another one. Maybe you've had enough. Why don't you lie down for a bit? (sighs) Yeah, maybe I will. Does it never make you feel a bit of a creep? What? Rattling around in other people's heads. Reading their bloody minds. Like looking through keyholes. Could get to some people, you know. Some people might start to take it personally. Uh, what time is it? Four in the morning. The music's oh. keeping me awake. Sorry. Oh. I couldn't sleep. Listen to that storm. Mm. Are you going back upstairs? Or? Uh, sit down. I-, I need to talk to you. Couldn't it wait till tomorrow? No. Now. Please. Do you uh, want a drink? No. No. No thanks. <sighs> Are you religious, Tommy? Not conventionally, no. My mum and dad were free kirk. Severe, you know. I sometimes thought it would be easier to be a Catholic. At least they have confession. Is there something you want to get off your chest? What do you think? Why did you ask me up here? I'm not sure. I guess I wanted to know if you knew. Knew what? You don't mean about Daniel. You you mean something else. You remember that first night we met? The theatre bar? Uh Uh-huh. I was very nervous. I'd heard about you, obviously, from Richie. The psychic. Don't think about pink elephants. That's what they say, isn't it? And, of course, that's all you can think about. When we were talking... I was thinking about Guy, and I was wondering if you could read my mind. The more I tried to stop, the worse it got. All that night, out on the town with the cast, later in bed, next morning, thinking about him. You and Kat came over that Saturday. You got the card right. Seven of spades. And then you said you'd seen this face. Dark skin, moles sleeping. It was Guy's face. What happened to him? I told you. He died. How? How did he die? He committed suicide. You believe that? How do you think he died? Me? It's not for me to say. You know, though, don't you? No. But I have a sense, you could say. And what's that? You really want me to say? Yes, say! I think you killed him. How? How did I kill him? Did you? You better watch your step. What do you mean? Just watch what you say to people, that's all. Guy, sit down. You! You're the cause of all this mess! Me? Guy, come back! Guy, you awake? Brought you some tea. Oh. Dear Richie. Dear Richie. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. So sorry at what I'm about to do. Please try and understand that I did love you. That you were the best thing in my life. But that I just didn't have the courage to accept it. I'm taking a journey now. Love you always. Guy. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. Oh, damn it. I wondered if the psychic might find me. Have a seat, Tommy. Drink? No, I'm okay, thanks. The courage needed to kill oneself is actually quite considerable. Let's go back, guy. No, leave me here. Come on. Go back yourself. When the tide comes in, there's no escape. It's coming in, Tommy, and you can't swim. Is that what happened to Guy? Guy Tempt. Love of my life. More than Richie, actually. Maybe that was the problem. Guy! Shut up! Go away! Guy Templeton. We've been lovers for years. And then he announced that he was getting engaged. Told me here, sitting here, could we still be friends? If I just got angry, just blown up at him. Instead, I lay here with him. He, he fell asleep. I left it to the last minute knowing he couldn't swim, then walked away. Five minutes later, I could hear him crying my name. David! David! Help me! And I just listened. Later, I panicked. I told them he'd left earlier. All I had to say was that He'd gone down to the cove and got into difficulties or something. Belize asked loads of questions, and I just about managed to hold it together. Nobody seemed to suspect. Then or later. <laughs> Why should they? They knew he'd been depressed. Assumed he'd drowned himself before he got on the ferry or chucked himself overboard or whatever. Nothing's unforgivable. No. It wasn't an evil act. Ah, but you don't believe in evil, do you? Let's go back, Guy. Will you tell anybody? It's your call, isn't it? Cat. Richie. You won't be able to stop yourself. You swear you'd never tell anybody. I don't know. Okay, I swear. Now, let's go, please. Guy! What if I told you that I'd lured you here? That I hadn't intended to kill myself at all? That the note was just a way of getting you here? I wouldn't believe you. Well, I did. That's what I did. Lured you here to kill you. My Macbeth will chill them. I tell you. Let's go. You don't think I could kill you. Take this rock and with one blow... No remorse. I'd feel nothing. Guy, for God's sake. You don't think I could do something like that? Well, I have done something like that. I could do it again. Well, then you'd be going against your better... No! Tommy. Tommy. All right. All right. Let's think. Okay. Okay. No problem. We've got to just... The, the tide, the, the tide will take... Mester! 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 Mister, you, you got to wake up, Mester. The tide's coming in. Mester, come on. Mester! Yeah.
out. Richie, what's happening? It's Tommy. He's had an accident. What? But it's some kind of fall. We don't know. Oh, will he be OK? Well, we don't know. They've just got him into the helicopter. I went over to the B&B and you weren't there. I hadn't seen him all morning. I was worried. Nobody seems to know what's going on. Oh, Richie. But it's all right, Kat. The boy found him. The boy? Is he going to be all right, Constable? He'll be in the hospital in under 20 minutes, Miss Logan. They're doing everything they can for him. Uh, you wanted to talk to Mr Templeton? Yes. I'm Mr Templeton. Oh, I, I wonder if I can ask you a few questions, sir. He dragged you about 20 yards, seemingly, to some rocks. He phoned his dad, who got you on the boat. Well, thank you, Cameron. Ah, that's all right. You've been very brave. You saved my life. You risked your own life, didn't you, Cameron? Well, I suppose so. How did you manage to drag me 20 yards? I'm quite strong. I'm big for my age. Well, thank you. It's OK. What do you think will happen to him? Prison, I expect. My photograph will be evident. I expect so. I didn't get the actual blow, but I got him with a rock in his hand. Good for you, eh? I better go. Mum said I hadn't to be too long. Let you rest. Well, thanks again, Cameron. Would you mind taking a photograph of me, and Mr. Sutter? Of course not. You just pressed that one there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye, Cameron. Bye. You had me really worried, Thomas Souter. How's Richie? As you'd expect. He may be coming to see you. Well, soon. I never thought you'd do it. I don't think you even wanted to do it. Oh, well. All over now, eh? Oh, Tommy. Guy, are you asleep? Guy, so long, Guy, so long, my friend. In the sensitive Black Island by Alistair Jessamine, Thomas was played by Robin Lang, Cat by Julie Duncanson, Richie, Stephen McNichol, Guy, Laurie Brown, D.I. Crawford, Simon Tate, and Cameron by Harris Young. Other parts were played by the cast. The sensitive Black Island was a BBC Scotland production directed in Glasgow by Bruce Young.